the OG Legacy Aim Assist for controller players is back and it's absolutely broken. In this video, I use the OG Legacy Aim Assist settings to drop 220 bombs. So make sure to watch until the end to see how to turn on the OG Legacy Aim Assist as well as my new updated sensitivity. But before we continue, I'm giving away 5 OG Fortnite Battle Passes in this video to my subscribers. To enter the giveaway, all you need to do is drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel with the post notifications turned on, watch until the end, and comment down below done once you've finished all those steps, and use code Gloomzy. So for my first game, I'm gonna land at Tilted Towers, and I'm gonna try to get a 20 bomb to show you guys how insane these OG Legacy Aim Assist settings actually are. No, we got the gun. Let's go, we got a pump. 200. Oh, there's another guy. 50. Oh my gosh, the aim assist on these settings are actually insane. The guy in the air. Wait. There's a guy down here. 100. Peace. 200. I don't think he knew I could edit his walls on the Porta Fortress. that oh my gosh we're going 200 i'm crazy what Oh my gosh, where are you going? 200. Oh my gosh, there's another guy. 100. Oh my, 100. Full piece? 200, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I just deleted him. Oh my god. Oh my, why did he do that? 200. Oh my gosh. Nah, OG Legacy Amos is actually so broken. 30. What's this guy doing? 200. 100. 38? No, I needed that kill. There's actually so many people still. I could still drop a 20 bomb. Was a bush? 100? Oh my, he's dead. 200. 14 kills and there's still 15 people left. I can still drop a 20 bomb. Any rifts? Hundred? Any rifts as well? Twenty? Oh my gosh, he's so lucky. Hundred? Full piece? Two hundred? And he places a trap and rift. Oh my gosh. 20? Wait, what? I got the kill? Peace. Oh no, I messed up. 100? Oh, how did I miss? No, when he rifts, no way. He's dead right here. Oh my gosh. Two hundred. If I kill this guy, we drop a twenty bomb. Hundred? Full piece? Two hundred, let's go. The twenty bomb is crazy. Oh my gosh, 200. I have 21 kills right now. This is cr These are by far the best settings I've ever used so far. So make sure you guys make it to the end of the video for the settings. 100. Oh 
OG legacy aim assist is actually so broken. Oh my, wait, I'm going to clip 200. Oh my gosh, for the 23 kill win, boys. I'm dropping Jordan numbers. So make sure you guys stay tuned until the end for the settings. We're going to jump into one more game and see if we can get a back-to-back -back 20 bombs. We're going back-to-back -back at Tilted Towers to drop a 20 bomb. Okay, we got one kill already. We're going for the back-to-back -back 20 bombs using the OG Legacy aim assist. 50. Oh my gosh, I'm 1 HP. He gets chest. Oh, what? 50. Cone. Beast. 100. You're dead, bro. Get off of me. 100. Oh, I have no more shotgun ammo. 200. Let's go. Oh, he's whited. 50. Oh my gosh, it's SMG's bloom. Oh my gosh, he's won. Get me in there. 200. 200. The pre fire is crazy. Only 30 people left. Is he over there? Oh. 100. Full piece. 200. Let's go. I just deleted him out the air. Let's go push over here. We need this 20 bomb. Hundred full piece. Oh, wait, where did he go? It's down there. Thirty. Oh my gosh! How did I hit him? Two hundred. Let's go. Thirty. Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh, I might be dead here. He doesn't even know where I am. 200, let's go. Holy. Wall. Double edit. 100. A what? I got 11 kills with 17 people left. I can possibly drop a back-to-back -back 20 bomb here. Oh my gosh. I actually might die. The grenade launcher is so broken. Wait, what? Did he just blow himself up? No, I needed that kill. I'm in. 200. Let's go. I currently have 13 kills with 10 people left. Let's see if I can still drop the 20 bomb. It's going to cut super close. Oh my gosh. I literally just aimbotted him out the air. Oh my gosh. Fifty? Full piece? My shotgun didn't shoot. What's he doing? Twenty? Oh my gosh, nah. Unfortunately, I only have 17 kills and there's only two people left. This means I can only get 19 kills, so. Oh my gosh, why is he just spraying his grenade launcher? Cone. Edit that. 100. Hundred, two hundred. Let's go. Yeah, we currently have eighteen kills with one player left. If we didn't get our kills stolen earlier, would have been able to drop a twenty bomb back to back.
and there we go the 19 kill win back to back high kill games with these insane og legacy aim assist settings make sure to check them out they'll be right after this before we jump into the settings and the OG Legacy aim assist tutorial, I want to show you guys my controller. I'm playing on a regular PlayStation 5 controller. This is the standard one. No extra paddles, no extra buttons. The only attachment I have on the controller is a low-rise Galaxy Control Freak, which I highly recommend. It'll be down below in the description for you guys to buy. But for the settings here on the first page for the graphics, I have 120 FPS mode turned on. If you're on console, especially my console players, and you're not on 120 FPS yet, I have a monitor link down below for both Xbox and PlayStation that I use that you guys can get for yourself and turn on 120 FPS for your console. For the brightness here for the graphics settings, I have 150%, one for the user interface contrast, no colorblind mode and colorblind strength on 10. I found these graphics to be the best for console to see in storm. And unless you get motion sickness, make sure you turn off motion blur and have your show FPS on. For the next page here, if you want to lower your input delay, especially if you're on console, go down to the replays here and turn off all these three options. Record replays off, record large team replays off, record creative replays are off as well. Have low input latency mode turned on. And up here for the building choice, you want to have reset building choice on, disable pre-edit option on, and turbo building on. These will all help lower your input delay. And then for auto confirm edits, I have edit on release and reset on release, so I have this set at both. This just allows you to edit and reset with one single bind on controller, making it a lot faster. And for the reticle option here, my reticle is turned on, reticle ammo indicator off, cumulative, hits and icons. Damage and number scale is at 125% and for the HUD scale it's at 65% with these options turned on. And just like the record replays if you don't use the gyro settings here make sure you turn all these off and at the lowest number possible this will also help lower your input delay. And the same thing applies for the keyboard and mouse settings if you don't use them make sure you turn them off to lower your input delay. Now for my actual controller settings that I updated make sure you have controller auto run on, build immediately builder pro on this will help lower your input delay when you build. And for edit hold time, you want to have this at the lowest number possible at 0.1. This will help lower your input delay when you edit. Slide hold time is at 0.04. This is just preference. For my camera options, I don't touch any of these. And for vibration, make sure you have this off, especially if you're playing competitive. You don't want your controller to be shaking when you're aiming, building, or even editing. For the quick weapon beta, I don't use this setting at all. I have a video explaining that. And for the actual sensitivity, I play a 5 look and a 5 aim sensitivity. And my build and edit mode, I have my build at 2.1. And my edit mode is now 2.2 instead of 2.1. I feel like I've gotten more control over my sensitivity. And I feel like I can increase the edit speed just a little bit. I play with advanced options on. And for my look horizontal and vertical speed, both are going to be set at 43%. And for boost, I don't have any boost turned on. No horizontal boost, no vertical boost, no boost ramp time, and no instant boost when building. If you watch my old videos, you can recall that I used to play with boost and I was a lot more flashy and fast. But now I prefer a more slow and controlled sense where I'm more consistent with my edit and my builds rather than being really fast and inconsistent. Now for the ADS sensitivity, I used to play on a 9% for both horizontal and vertical, but I've lowered it to 8%. I just found it a lot easier to aim with the scar and the AR now that most weapons don't have scopes on them and I don't have any boost turned on just like the building and for look dampening time mine's gonna be at zero seconds with look input curve on linear and then for aim assist strength it's at a hundred percent and then for the left and right stick dead zone both are gonna be at ten percent so to turn on the OG legacy aim assist all you need to do is turn your aim assist strength at 99 percent and then click copy from legacy then you need to back out and make sure you don't apply them and just like that you should be good to go and for audio settings here, I just have visual sound effects turned on, and here are my binds, here are my combat controls, my build controls, my edit controls, and my ability controls. You guys can pause the video for them, but that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys did find it helpful, make sure you guys help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. Make sure to use my code Gloomzy, and please comment down below 240k. I really want to know who made it to the end of the video. With that being said, peace. Okay, that was the intro.